Hey, what's going on, brothers? You know, this is going to be a quick hit. Um, you know, I get on RT, Russia Today. It's a good app to have on your phone. It's a good uh, it's a good telescope into what's going on to what the media, American media, is not covering. It's a good way to measure the times that we are in. I haven't been on in a while. Back to coming on today, man. Something came on to me, man. It says, uh, I found this one. U.S. is going to trade a lot with Russia, Trump says, after long and very good phone call with Putin. Came across this. <laughs> May 4th, 2019. That's today. Okay. Donald Trump said that he shares Vladimir Putin's desire to improve trade ties between Russia and the U.S. as he commented on the lengthy phone call, Salakia, on a lengthy phone conversation with his Russian counterpart on Friday. We intend to do a lot of trade with Russia, Trump told reporters at the White House. We do some right now. It's up a little bit, but Putin would like to do trades and we'd like to do trade. Okay. This is some of uh, Donald DJ Trump uh, tweets, you know, and I'm going to tie this all up, you know, but there's some more posts I want to get into. This is, this is going to be a quick one, brothers. But uh, it says uh, Donald Trump says, uh, I had a long and very good conversation with President Putin of Russia. As I have always said, long before the witch hunt started, getting along with Russia, China and everyone is a good thing, not a bad thing. We discuss trade, Venezuela, Ukraine, North Korea, nuclear arms control, and even the Russian hoax. Very productive talk. You know, but us men of the Lord see through this bullshit. And I'm going to get right into one scripture that's going to cut all this up, man. We only got to get all into this, man. But, the, you know, but, you know, see all this. It's, 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 it's a, a vibration of peace. It's a false vibration of peace. And us brothers... Know what time it is, man. And the time draws nigh, man. The time is about to draw nigh, man. Because sudden destruction is about to hit America, man. And we're waiting on this shit. Okay? Look at this. IDF says 200 missiles launched from Gaza. Does it intercept it? <laughs> and we have this disc golfer on my page that goes by the name of Hi-Fi, man. Talking about ain't gonna be no no uh, no uh nuclear missiles, man. Hitting America. This dude, man. Come on, dog. Come on, man. You have... <laughs> You have Gaza just launched launched 200 missiles, man. Granted, they're not nuclear, but regardless, man, you know, it's going to it's going to get nuclear, buddy. And I'm a guy got, got a whole video coming for you, brother. And hopefully it's all in edif it's, and, you know, it's going to be all in edification, man. Well, iron sharp as iron, but you're going off if you think these missiles ain't going to be <laughs> going to be launched, bro. OK, Look, one dead, two missing is a ground shaking explosion levels Illinois silicone plant. Yeah, all you women got these sil silicone <laughs> cucumber rods destroying your vaginas. All these men buying these uh <laughs> these sex dolls. All you women um getting these fake asses and fake breasts. Yeah, your house blowing up the silicone plants, dog. <laughs> Oh, man, a massive ground-shaking explosion rocked a suburb north of Chicago on Friday night as a building was leveled by a mysterious blast that claimed at least one life. Okay? The explosion took place at about 9 p.m. at the AB Special Specialty Silicone Plant in Wakugan, 40, 40 miles north of Chicago. One fatality has been confirmed. Two people are missing and four others were injured in the blast. The Lake County Sheriff's Office warned residents to stay away from the area. Yeah, straight silicone plant got destroyed. Call her Lord, you how about you? a shot, man. These judgments are beautiful, dog. It's beautiful, man. But let's get back. I, I got one more I'm trying to look at. Where we at? Where we at? Boo -doo 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 -doo. We're getting there, brothers. Give me one second. All right, let's get the where is it? Okay, anything's possible. Trump talks North Korea peace after phone call with Putin. Come on, brothers. <laughs> we know what time it is, man. We're gonna be screaming, call her lawyer, how about Shimmy Shah when these missiles get launched and this war this war is accomplished, man. Cause this this scripture is alive, this prophecy is alive, and this is a serious faith booster. We're almost out of here, brothers. Anything is possible. Trump talks North Korea peace after phone call with Putin. President Trump took to Twitter to declare his support for peace on the Korean Peninsula after discussing the issue with Russian President Vladimir Putin. North Korea, meanwhile, test-fired short-range missiles 
anything in this very interesting world is possible, Trump tweeted on Saturday. But I believe that Kim Jong-un fully realizes the great economic potential of North Korea and will do nothing to interfere or end it. He also knows that I am with him and does not want to break his promise to me. Deal will happen. Donald DJ Trump. Here's a tweet. Anything in this very... Okay, we just read it. That's how they opened it. Okay, with the tweet. Trump's tweet came after he spoke with Putin by phone on Friday. The two leaders discussed a range of geopolitical issues, including nuclear arms control and the Korean peace process. The president touted the success of the call on Saturday, heralding the tremendous potential for a good relationship with Russia, despite what you read and see in the fake news media. After the phone call, certain media outlets let's uh chided trump for not pressing putin on supposed russian election meddling okay very this is a tweet from from dj trump very good call yesterday with president putin of russia tremendous potential for a good relationship with russia despite what you read and see in the fake news media look how they have misled you on russia collusion the world can be a better and safer place Nice, right? <laughs> Despite Trump's insistence that a deal will happen with North Korea, results thus far have been lacking. A much anticipated summit between Trump and North Korea leader John, Kim Jong un in Singapore last year ended with a vague promise from Kim to work towards denuclearization, while a follow up summit to Hanoi, Vietnam this, this year collapsed with no agreement when Trump found Kim's demands un uh, untenable. Okay, look at that. Oh, I'm damn missiles, man. <laughs> Talking about denuclearization in North Korea over there, test firing their missiles, man. Ain't no damn game. You damn Jake's better wake, wake the hell up, man. Smell the coffee, per se. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Let's see, let's see if we got anything else going on with that. But they're talking about peace, man. Okay, here we go. Nobody has to love Putin, but nuclear peace is a Salakia. Nobody has to love Putin, but nuclear peace is impossible without communication okay let's let's see what this is talking about reports from the white house today that president trump has reached out to president putin on the subject of nuclear arms agreement between the united states russia and china of course we really don't know what they discussed but that is what the president's staff is putting out if it's true and we take them at their word which we should it would be kind of strange considering that the U.S. and Russia already had a nuclear treaty in place negotiated by Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev that we, our country. And Donald Trump just left the INF treaty. That's what we're talking about, man. How you go, all these countries are, are going no hose barn, ditching treaties just to what? Talk about peace? Come on, man. And we're going to close our scripture in a second. We chose to just no longer honor. Just a few months ago, that decision was made. So it's curious, right? Speaking of Mr. Gorbachev, he has just penned an editorial in the Wall Street Journal where he's urging both sides to stop the, quote, madness of nuclear deterrence. He writes that the idea that more weapons make us more safe is just mad, right? And he goes after those who have been pushing for it, including, historically speaking, Margaret Thatcher. Joining us now is Pulitzer Prize winning author Chris Hedges to uh, talk about this uh, this article by Mikhail Gorbachev. It's called The Madness of Nuclear Deterrence. Do you get his point on this? Let me anybody get all into this shit, man. We know what time it is. Let's go ahead and read this. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin talked nuclear arms control in a phone call Friday. But what can be achieved when the U.S. shreds treaties and Washington stays hostile to any communication with Russia? Exactly, man. It's total bullshit, man. Discussing disarmament is, is a step in the right direction, but the U.S. recently pulled out of an intermediate-range nuclear forces treaty. The INF treaty, I was just saying, man. An arms reduction pact signed in 1987 by President Ronald Reagan and Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev. The pullout stoked fear of a nuclear buildup in, Ru in Europe unseen since the Cold War and is one of several international arms treaties shredded by the Trump administration. So how is he going to shred up all the nuclear arms treaties and then walk around talking about peace? Look at Jim Kong's face, man. I mean, look at Kim Jong-un's uh, Jong face, man. Look at his face. He's like, white devil. 
You white Dive off <laughs> yeah, you bl- man, come on, dog. This shit is flaky as hell, man. We know what time it is. I only gotta read this shit. I only gotta read it, dog. We know exactly what time it is. Let's go ahead and go to this one. Five hours ago, world news. Come on, let's see what this says, man. It's about to go down, and you people don't even see it, man. People about to get burnt the fuck up. It's about to go down, man. Everything I be talking about, of all the profits on down, be talking about, man. It's about to go down, man. Trump is right to say U.S.-Russia relations have tremendous potential. The phone call between Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump was very important as Russia and U.S. must maintain dialogue. Mikhail Gorbachev, the last Soviet president and one of the signatories of the INF Treaty, has said. The two leaders talked on the phone on Friday discussing nuclear non-proliferation, North Korea, Venezuela, Ukraine, and bilateral trade, among other things. This isn't yet how relations between such powers as Russia and the U.S. must be shaped like. But it's important. It's dialogue. Okay? You know, it's... <laughs> oh, look, 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 look. Three-way deal. Trump says China wants to join nuclear pact with U.S. and Russia. Okay? Y'all don't see what's going on, man. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what's going on. Boom. Let's go right to it, baby. <laughs> we get right to it, baby. Come on, it's about to go down, man. <laughs> Yo, all the all the brothers, all the brothers on down know exactly where we're going. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three, man. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. It's about to go down, okay? But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. This is the one third and 144,000 elect. We know exactly what time it is. Verse six. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Call her law, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem Rock Hakadesh, and uh, Shalom until next time. Stay sober, stay vigilant, stay prayed up. We're gonna need Yahweh Shah more than ever, and uh, it's about to go down, brothers and sisters, and Yahweh Shah. And let's keep pushing until the kingdom come, man. Shalom.